It definitely. 30 rations and It's multifaceted. There's so many different ways that you can get in. You tell me. Bury oh. them. Do you I want their stuff? Them. Hype dog. Yeah, I, I do want the stuff, but that. that...
You, you What's up, stream? Thing? Welcome. Long time no see. Um, all right, this overlay is fucked. I just want to let you know I did not make a new one. I totally forgot that I needed an overlay, so uh, the names and tokens will not match. Also, our DM is apparently passed out on the lawn. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm not actually playing Hestrid. I'm playing Kern. Lauren's not actually playing Serex. He's playing Jair. Etc. Etc. There's, you know, you'll see. It's a thing. Subscribe. Let's play. <clears throat> this will be our 43rd rendition of Tomb of Annihilation. Hopefully it gets past the first area. <laughs> God's will. <laughs> all right. For the past several days, the talk of the street and taverns have all been about the so-called death curse, a wasting disease afflicting everyone who has been raised from the dead. Victims grow thinner and weaker every day, slowly but steadily sliding toward the death they once denied. When they finally succumb, they can't be raised, and neither can anyone else, regarding it, regardless of whether they've received them, that miracle in the past. Temples and scholars of divine magic are at a loss to explain a curse that has affected the entire region and possibly the entire world. Uh, you guys are walking into a large uh, three-story home. Uh, you have been invited to the home of Sindra Sylvain, a retired adventurer and merchant. A uniformed attendant leads you up a grand staircase to the third floor, then ushers you into a wood-paneled room with a fireplace, comfortable chairs, and a heavy table bearing goblets and bottles of wine. Food is also laid out in uh, radi radiant glory. The darkly paneled walls are hung with maps and sea charts. Racks, shelves, and cabinets hold hundreds more rolled up maps and charts. A person is seated in an overstuffed chair near the fire. You can't discern a gender because only the person's head emerges from a heavy blanket draped over the chair, and an embroidered hood and silver mask conceal the wearer's face. Even the person's dry, raspy voice provides no clue. Yourself, mine, and say to yourself, friends. I hope I may call you that. Uh, you guys can do a little introduction about yourself now. And where you're kind of sitting at in the room. Maybe somebody else has to go first. Not it. All right, I'll go. Uh, I am Jair, a four foot tall, pale, gray skinned dwarf with beady little eyes and wearing nothing but rags and weapons. And I have a real big backpack on my back with bones sticking out. Mojo, what are you playing? Uh, I am Boney. I am a rogue. I'm probably lounging somewhere on the ground, probably sitting on the ground itself, cross-legged. Probably playing with one of my knives and looking like I'm taking in the de all the details in the room and seeing if I like everyone or not. I'll buy Brian a little bit more time. Uh, I'm playing Kern. I am a monk. Uh, black dragonborn. Kind of tall. Tail. Chilling. Arms crossed. Just surveying. Mm. Uh, dark clothing. Not very much in the way of a pack. Short sword on the hip. And uh, very minimalist. Now we all awkwardly wait for Brian to finish making his character so he can tell us what he is. <laughs> uh, you, you see a indeterminate uh, racial creature with a heavy cloak, <laughs> armor, and a helmet over his head. and Kind of hard to really see any details. It's fairly quiet. He doesn't talk much. If you couldn't Fair tell, enough. Brian was very busy this week during character <laughs> creation and uh, only just started <laughs> But but you know, I, I will do one thing for you guys. I will uh, show his HP right now. Woo! There you go. How do you show his a negative? Uh, you I don't actually see any HP. It, it's shown. It's shown right there. Oh, shit. Anyways, All right. yeah. Uh -huh. There's no bar. Right. I'm confused. <clears throat> uh, does anyone partake in the food or wine that's at the table? Absolutely. Of course. I will begin stuffing myself. I'll grab a cup and then arms crossed, lean against the wall, sit, you know, somewhere in the corner. Just sip slowly. What All right. kind of food is at the table? 
Uh, basically anything that you can think of. There's meat, there's chicken, uh, there's even a little bit of dessert. Everything seems kind of sparkly, too. Kind of odd, actually. Chicken is meat, by the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, if no one else is touching it, everyone who did partake in food can roll a 2d10, and that's you get that much uh, HP for today. Oh, shit. Big six. Those are some big-ass dice. They are some big-ass dice. You can I'm guessing adjust the it. wine doesn't count. The wine doesn't count. Oh, that's a shame. Yep. Uh, she will say, it's good to see uh, adventurers willing to come out to Chult uh, to take care of the death curse. But before what, we no? get to that, uh, yes, before we get to that, I'll explain a little bit about myself and where you guys will be going. I was an adventurer many years ago. But sadly, I took an arrow to the heart and I died. I was raised from the dead. What, what, Brian, were you trying to say something? No, I'm just laughing. <laughs> was, she, was she a guard, by the way? Oh, no, wait, she became a guard afterwards. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> oh, God, where was I? Uh, I took an arrow to the heart and I died. But I was raised again. <clears throat> I've given up the adventuring life and how I'm a merchant. Uh, but I don't know if you've heard around there's something called the death curse and it's been affecting basically anyone who's ever died I've reached out to clerics I've reached out to druids everything that could possibly help and uh, minus the food that you see in front of you that can give a little bit of vitality nothing seems to help every day I wither a little bit more and more I have reached out to a couple of groups the Harpers, the Zintarum, anyone for answers, and I was finally able to hear about a necromatic artifact in Schult, the Soulmonger. I don't know where in Schult it is. This place is dangerous. There's enormous reptiles, savage goblins, and the armies of the undead. Uh, mapping the place is practically impossible. And not many people know the geography or the terrain a few miles in. It's basically a death trap, but there's also treasure and glory. Um, one of our attendants will hand... Uh, who has the highest charisma? I think we're tied 16? at 16. 16. Until Brian tells us whether or not he's uh, going charisma caster or not. Uh, I would be higher, yes. All right. Okay. Uh, she'll hand you the map. Uh, she'll say, this is a map of what I've already explored of Chult. It is much better than any of the other maps that you could find on Chult. And please be careful, do not show it to anyone. A map like that, uh, you could be killed for. Uh, so please be careful. Can, when... can I show it to them? Yeah, you can show it to them. Oh, okay. Uh, at, you know, as this is all happening... <laughs> She'll say, when you're ready to part, please tell me. I'm going to take us all to Port Nianzaru. Even though I was, I've given up adventuring, I still have the magic to teleport us there. Oh, ask well, me, ready when ask, ask me any questions that you might have. Uh, I think I'm good. Let's go. <clears throat> I am good. I'm good too. Me too. Alright. Uh, she'll kind of get up and kind of like hobble over to meet up with you guys, and she makes a circle. And you all get teleported to Port Nianzaru. Whee! Whee! We're going on an adventure. Well, let's make sure I pull murdered. Actually. Oh, <laughs> No token in this scene, which gives you Bill's ability there. Can't again. see All shit. Right. Yep, you guys will eventually get tokens. Uh, by the way, I can't seem to update my token. Uh, can you not? I can't upload one, anything to it. Uh, give it to me and I'll do it real quick. Uh, where's my 
Oops. You're all a trusted player, so you guys should be able to. I wasn't able to upload anything. Did I not give you trusted players? Yeah, I don't know. We can't check that. <laughs> Alright. I'm closing down the system for a second. Nope, you're all trusted what? players. No. Save return. Yeah, I'm, I'm trusted. I'm able to, like, do all kinds of things. <clears throat> I can select the file, I just can't upload a new one. Oh, yeah, I tried Brian. to upload, and uh, it said fuck you. So I was like, alright, it's <laughs> not. Okay, I guess trust players in this module can't do it. I think it has to do with your server. You have to actually explicitly give trusted players the ability to upload. It's not just mm. by default. Assistant GM is the first level that actually has that by default. And I'm gonna have to chain make your you probably token. Probably to point to a directory too. Otherwise, it's just gonna end up in a big folder somewhere. Uh, vision. What are you? Okay. Or not? Give me one second. Okay, this uh, this scene should be lit for everyone. I can see just around me. Everything's dark. I can see only the square I'm in if I move my character off the square I'm in. Nice. So I'm exploring nice. the like city that. one square at a time. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there we go. There yeah, it is. Nailed it. Yeah, so you only had to explore it just enough. Yeah. And then uh, we'll go. Apparently That's... somebody's dirty and needs a bath. <laughs> And we will go. All right. And does this not load? Lovely. That's why I hate popping out the token. And we'll pop this pop one up. Yeah, you, sometimes you pop so. up. All right. Also, don't forget, make sure you guys change <clears throat> your prototype tokens to make sure that they always have the... Uh, your character name, health, uh, and whatnot showing. Uh, who what now? Go to your character sheet, and then click on prototype token. Make sure that your token oh, right. name is your name. Displayed always for everyone. Go to resources, display bars, always for everyone. And then <laughs> that was a lot. Ah, uh, opened up the thing, got the token, open prototype token. Now what? On your prototype token, you just want to make sure that your token name is your character name. Display name always for everyone. Then click on resources. Display bars always for everyone. Sorry, uh, display name always for everyone. Then what was the last one? Resource. Click on resources. All right, sweet. And then always for everyone for the display bars. That'll make sure that we can see your hit points. So, Brian and Boney still need to do that. I just did it. Uh, your token here won't automatically update. Oh, yeah, you'll have to... You'll, you'll uh, have to change, do it on this one, too. It'll, all, it'll change for all your future tokens from now on, so technically you could delete that token and then drag your new token back on. Like, oh, can we not drag our own tokens? No, we can't. Oh, there, Jason did it for you. Brian, it's still not fixed, so I'll just yeah. leave it right there. Basically, that allows me, well, or any of us, to see, like, if you're hurt without having to, like, ask you. We can look at your token, and then, like, for example, for me, like, I can't heal you, but I can, like, run over and grapple the thing that's attacking you, for example. But if I can't see your hit points, I'm just going to assume you're always full of health, and then you'll take one point of damage and be like, I'm dead, how come nobody helped me? It's like, because I couldn't see. Because yeah. you're standing in fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, stand in fire, DPS higher. True, true. Okay, uh, you appear in a trop uh, tropical city under the blazing sun. The familiar sounds of the harbor, creaking ropes, slapping waves, heavy barrels rolling across cobblestone. Mingling with voices shouting and cursing in an unfamiliar language filled with clicks, inhalations, and sing-songy words that make it sound almost musical. The aroma of unfamiliar spice and tropical fruits mixes with the 
wharfside smell of fish, tar, and canvas. Beyond all that, Port Nianzaru is an explosion of color. Buildings are painted in bright shades of blue, green, oranges, and pinks, or their walls are adorned with murals portraying giant reptiles and mythical heroes. Every building sports baskets and clay urns of colorful flowers, or is draped in leafy, flowery vines. Minstrels in bright clothing adorned with feathers and shells perform in street corners. Spindra says, <clears throat> If you need a place to stay... You could go to the Thundering Lizard, or the House of Repose. They're, they're located in the Red Bazaar. She'll kind of point you along the way, which is over here. Um, actually, do I have the... Yes, I do have that shift click. <clears throat> I just know the Thundering Lizard is a little bit more lively than the House of Repose. I will be going to Wakongo Tama's house, well, villa, honestly. And relaxing there until you guys get rid of this death curse. Uh, if you don't want to say anything to her, she starts uh, hobbling away. All right, she starts hobbling away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you guys are seeing quite... This town is much different than anything you've seen in any of any of the other places in Faerun. Uh, there are large animals uh, that are kind of everywhere. They're kind of lizard-like. Uh, I don't think anyone's probably even seen these kind of animals before. Um, but they're kind of just littered all over the place. People are using them as pack animals. You don't see horses, mules, or any of the other um, beasts of burden. It seems like these creatures are taking that. What would you like guys like to do? It do is. I, do I see any other afternoon. dragonkins around? Uh, not at this point. Dragonkins? You mean dragonborn? Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, where you're at currently? No, you do not see any dragonborn. All right, I'll just like wrap my cloak around me a little uh, closer and put the hood up. Just you know, <clears throat> get a little nervous. Don't want to be mistaken as a beast of burden. Just. Uh... Is that a market I see off of the distance? Looks like it. Are, are you asking me, or are you asking the party? Asking out loud. <laughs> but to no one in particular, no one has to answer. Mostly talking to myself, probably whispering a little too low for anyone to hear unless they have good hearing. No one in this party has good hearing. Oh, oh hey. that's all right. <laughs> what was that you said? I can't I hear you. plus three. I mean... <laughs> It's not great, but, you know, I wouldn't say it's like shit. Uh, she did give you a map of Port Nianzaru. It, that's part of the uh, map of Chult. So you do have every place that's on here as well as what they're marked as. Alright, so we're going to an inn. Right, are we, so are we a party? Like, did she set us up as we are together? or uh, You might as well stick together. All right, to the end. Let's go. To the end. Um, to the huge one. I like the lizard one sounding better than the repose place. Sure, we can go to the thunder lizard thing. Are everyone good going to the thunder lizard? Hmm? Yes, repose sounds like religion. I've had enough to do with religion and a cult. By the way, right. I built my character to not talk a ton because I've DM'd this campaign to like halfway through, so I want to try and not influence the party as much as possible. That's why you guys will be doing the uh, heavy lifting here. I've also done this first part, so it's all you. Tough. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, all, I've, I've gotten all the way to the... Uh, uh, to the place? The Fane of the Night Serpent, so... Uh, Unfortunately, I did not put any points in strength, and I should not be doing the heavy lifting here, but <laughs> I'm down to get into some trouble. No, I mean, like, you, you yeah. have to make the decisions, because if I make decisions, I'm going to optimize it, or we're going to end up leaving the city at, like, level 4 with, like, 4,000 gold. So, like, <laughs> you know... That was my idea. That's, I saw a market, and I'm a thief. Let's just, uh... 
Yeah, I'm All following right. you. All right, yeah, this we're is. Just, yep. You can go. Okay, so you're going to the inn, or you're going to the market? Well, where's the inn at? I don't see it on the map. Uh, the inn's over here. Let's let's get a let's get a home base first, at least in my opinion. I don't know how the rest of you feel, but I'd like to have a place I can go back to in case something happens. I agree. And it's a good place to ask around about this death curse. What are you going to do that requires you to have a safe place? Oh, you know, just looking for deals. Some discounts if I can. The five finger kind? Oh, I do like a good discount. <laughs> Be careful stealing from good people. Alright, uh, can someone give me a, a d20 as you guys make your way to the Thunder Lizard? I got it. Why the fuck is Virtual Dice on? You, you, <laughs> Why the you fuck is on? Virtual Dice on? No, I did no such fucking thing. <laughs> well, you turned it on or you didn't turn it off, one of those two? Either one of Why those is it is on a... by default? <laughs> <laughs> you know? A group of kids, yeah, a group of kids run at you, and uh, they run into Jer. Like they kind of push into you, but uh, after a little while, they kind of like scatter away from you. Ah, uh, do I notice what they're doing? As they are, they up to no good. Can I? Hey, you can give me a perception check if you want. Perfect. And how do I do this? Do I bring up my character sheet to do these kind of things? Yes, you do, and you click on it. As they're running by, I'm going to try and grab one kid. All right. Give me a um, athletics or, you know, give me a grapple check. Ooh. Okay. Seven, great. A child might uh, still lose to this. All right, all right. Well, with the solid 19... Uh, as you go and like try to grab him, he just kind of gets out of the way, gets out of your way, just like really quick, and then they run off and uh, kind of do rude gestures at you. I flip him off. Uh, they they definitely do that as well. Uh, can you give me a D10 for no apparent reason, uh, Jer? Okay, uh, your perception check of twenty. You see exactly what happened. You see uh, five gold pieces leaving Jer's uh, coin purse as he's trying to reach out to them. Jer, Some you lost five. Somebody gold just pieces. stole like Rude. literally fifty percent of his net pro of his like wealth. <laughs> I'm ruined. He's never gonna Give financially me recover. One moment. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to financially recover from this. <laughs> All right, I'm giving Boney one minute. I don't know if that's in person or out of person. I'm not looking at you guys' webcam. Out of person. Okay. He's just standing. I think Weiss is delivering. Uh, hold on a sec. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, stop walking through the street. <laughs> Papa needs. As a, a <laughs> can I slip something into one of their pockets? You just did. Grenade, hopefully. If you want to. Um, <laughs> You can, yes. Are you going to slip a bomb into somebody's pocket? <laughs> I think I know what your alignment is, but you know. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, you don't even need to roll a slide of hand check. That happens. Yep. All right, perfect. Thank you. I'll uh -huh. follow up on that later. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Jerry, you don't know that you, were you missed five gold. So just FYI. But remove it from your character sheet and then pretend oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. your character sheet. Hundred percent. Yeah. And you just pretend that you didn't. Alright. Uh you guys make it to the Thundering Wizard that actually doesn't have anything in the book. That's amazing. Lovely, even. Mm hmm There's nothing um, for the place of repose either. Yeah, I realize. You're just supposed That's... to make it up, I guess. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm definitely making it up. <laughs> Yeah, hundred percent. I even bought the little like DM after thing that's supposed to have everything that it doesn't have, but it doesn't. You know, it's cool. Mm -hmm. um, you guys make it to the Thundering Lizard. It is loud. You can hear people singing. 
you see one person actually get thrown out of the front door as you guys are getting nearby while he's flooring and trying to walk away. Uh, I'd like to clock at him while he walks away. Seems like a very drunk, un, you know, being seems thrown. like a lot of chaos. You, you definitely think that you could probably go over and maybe try to help him up. Give me a sleight of hand check. I'm trying to be a helpful guy. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you guys see Boney kind of run over to the guy. Help him up. You, Where you do definitely kind of passives st- on this fucking character sheet. You stick your hand, you know, while you're holding him into his uh, his the pocket. Tiny number next to the bonus. And uh, you can kind of fill like 13 silver pieces if you want to help him, or if you want to help yourself to him. Oh, I'm definitely gonna help him and help myself. All right. Uh, you kind of put bring him over to like a little bench so he can kind of recover while grabbing what you grab. Um, so you're 13 uh, silver coins richer. What would you like to do? Again, everyone else in your party is going to be basically silent. I don't know where my passive perception or investigation or anything is. <laughs> the ten. Do you need a real life minute? Uh, okay, I see, I see, I see. So I have a passive of thirteen. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. No, we're good. We're good. Sorry. I'll uh, enter the raucous tavern. Okay, you guys are all currently in the Rockus Tavern. Brazenly just walk in through the front door and then, like, slink off to the corner and then just kind of, like, post up and watch. Uh, I guess I'll join you in the corner. <laughs> nice. Well, corner game! Uh, I will probably... St- if I can stealthily move through the patrons and try to reach my way to the bar. Okay. You can easily do that without any uh, issues. Uh, how about our good old quiet paladin? I uh, would also kind of go into the corner and just like set his back into it so that you can just like see the whole room. Hmm. Okay. Uh, a bony, as you get to the bartender, uh, she says, It's five silver pieces a night. Um, if you want something nicer, you can go across the street, but uh, you'll definitely not get many bed bugs here. Good enough. What's across the street? Uh, she kind of points. It's the, repo- the house of repose. Uh, you look like someone who'd do much better here than over there. Yeah, she puts down a nail and waits, like, holds it in her hand and waits for you to drop a coin. Mm, you know what? Do you, can I ask her for if she has any information? How should I say this correctly? How would you say it correctly? I would like to know if this is a good place to get, if she's willing to exchange money for information about ways to make money in the city or find information on the death curse or just if she is an an informant of any type. Yeah, that's a lot. Or he. (laughs) I will say it's a she. Word it how you would word it to her, <laughs> unless you said that whole string of line. <laughs> there better be a natural twenty persuasion check following, <laughs> or we're <laughs> fucked. Hello, we're looking for four. You say we, but and... you're alone. The three of us are in the corner, and... <laughs> oh, like way in the back. Like, <laughs> we all walked in together. Back. I don't know what you creepers are doing in the corner. <laughs> she saw four people walk into a bar, and three goes hide in the shadow. <laughs> he saw one person, like, how they came in. They came in, like, one person at a time. So she's looking at you when you she, when uh, when you say we, and she's kind of just looking around and, like, pulls the ale back a little bit. Oh, don't worry. I'll give her my award-winning smile, too. Like, I'm just going to go all in. Okay, she pulls the ale back a little bit more. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> for all she knows, I need four beds for myself. Myself and I. Uh, four beds will be two gold pieces, if you want. Um, if you need the beds, we do have them. 
You're not doing anything, uh... Anything... You know what, it's fine. Uh, just two gold pieces for the four beds. <clears throat> I'll have to talk to my companions. Do you have any information on this death curse? Death curse? I've, I've heard about it, but I... It's affecting the entire world. Uh, that's what at least the traders and the merchants say. Do you have someone I could talk to? About this matter? Can I just speak to your manager? <laughs> Can I speak to your manager, please? She just puts the ale away from you now and she just looks at you. I, I am the owner of this tavern right here. If you want to speak to my husband, uh, you can talk to him, but he normally is doing the night shift. I'll be back at night time, and I just turn and walk away towards the other companions. All right. <laughs> uh, did you, did you, pay, you didn't pay her anything. She just kind of looks at you. She definitely put the ale away from you. Though. Well, she put the ale away. I'm not paying for I shit. I didn't hear though. any of that. Shit. I assume it went great. <laughs> It went perfect. Yeah. So we learned anything new. Two gold for four beds. Hmm. Great info to have. It seems like too much for me. Maybe I'd be fine to be willing to do less. Well, uh, this place good for talk, for information. Not good for sleep. She said to talk to her husband at night. For mm, when we should do that. For information. Okay. Um, patrons might have information. But no sleep here. Noise too much. Uh, you guys, as he's saying that, there is a lot of noise around you. Unless you're like f facing the person in front of you, it's very hard to hear. Can I try and listen in on the people next to us? Yeah, definitely. Uh, give me a perception check. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. I like that one. Give me a D100. That's two. All it do. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've heard that they're bird folks, like in a monastery. It's called the Laughing Gorge. I, I, I think they have like, there was like an heir or something. Like there's royalty, royal birds. Have you ever heard of royal birds? Nah, nah, I haven't heard of royal birds. Hmm. Uh, I guess I will note the information down. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, uh, Kieran. Are you there, Kieran? Who's Kieran? Kieran? What's your name? Kern? Kern. 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 Literally Kern. Kern. Corn. <laughs> Got it. Kern. You're yeah. a colonel. Kern. Uh, okay. You see uh, someone in a cloak kind of like looking at you. I just walk right up to him and get within, like, uncomfortably close. Like, within, like, three inches. Like, almost nose to nose. Hmm. Are you here for information? I think, uh, one of your companions, that, uh, that straggly one over there, is looking for something. I can, She's I'm not... a... Do I overhear this? Nope. He he walked away from the party. Yeah, that one loud. Uh, yes. Uh, she, she's interesting, that's for sure. Uh, I'm I'm looking for some assistance, and I can provide assistance in return, if you're willing to help. Hey, sure, why not? Got nothing going on? Uh, if you want to, I've already rented a room. If you want to come up, or if you want to bring your party up, I can tell you a little bit more about the job, and whatever information you want, uh, I can get it for you. Sure. 
I'll turn around and, like, try and whistle as fucking loudly as I can. Like, you know, the whole fucking two fingers in the mouth. Giver. What kind of check do you want for that? You know what? Give me, um... That's a con check. Just give me a con check. You're proficient in whistling. Alright. <laughs> uh, con check. Eh, not great. <clears throat> Uh, anyone with a passive perception of 10 or more kind of hears it. Everyone in the whole bar, even with the, the, most of the drunkards, kind of turn around and look at you while you're doing it. Okay. Uh, have I gotten my party's attention? You guys I hear will a whistle? Stare at you. Yeah. <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> passive <laughs> perception? Uh, uh, your passive perception is your perception. Uh, it's the number 10? on, like, if you're looking at your perception, right, and it says, like, plus three, and then next to that, there's a 13, your passive perception's 13. Ah, uh, okay. Yours is 11. I could tell you that right now. Okay, so then, yeah, you heard me. So then I'll, yeah. like, point at the three of them and be like, you, you, you fuckers, come. Uh, you see a few people in the background, like, pointing at themselves, too. <laughs> I won't correct them. I'll just turn and go up the stairs. <laughs> so if more people Party come, of eight shows awesome. up behind you. <laughs> if no, we're about to get over. mugged, like it'd be nice to have witnesses. <laughs> yeah, fair yeah, enough. Uh, you button. guys, you guys go upstairs into the room. It's pretty damp and <laughs> cramped and. It's kind of just gross in there. It's very humid right now. You kind of notice that when you guys kind of like start going upstairs and kind of since you've been here, you've been sweating a lot. You've just been sweating a lot. Um. Anyways, as you make it into the room, uh, let me pop out this uh, information. Sweat? Can I check for anything weird? Like check for traps? Sure. As you're walking up, you can definitely check for traps. Give me a... A uh, perception check, or a serve. No, perception is what you're going to use. I'm not even checking, I'm just trusting. <laughs> like, walking ahead of her, just... Dum, 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 dum. Uh, you're just watching watching your party. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary. You kind of look around, too. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. Hopefully that the inn that you're in isn't trapped. If it is, this, might, this adventure might end soon. You're thinking to yourself. <laughs> I'm just a very cautious person. <laughs> Yeah, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Um, he sits down and he'll say, Well, my name is Roka. I am looking to <clears throat> get into a certain fort that's in the northeastern part of this island. Uh, the Flaming Fist have come and I, I need to make sure that they aren't uh, causing any issues. They've uh, added a lot of taxes, and they've uh, added a lot of bogus fees, and I want to see what the issue is all about. So if you're willing to take me up there, I could be willing to get you a Charter of Exploration, which you all seem very new, so you probably don't even know what that is. And I can have you meet one of our best guides. It's actually a pair of guides, and they only charge uh, one price, which is actually amazing. And if you're able to help me, I will cover that fee too. And uh, I, what is the charge of exploration? So the Flaming Fist, the bastards that they are, came from Boulder's Gate. They're mercenaries, and basically they are taxing the land with this charter of ex of. You uh, could just say dickhead. They are dickhead. Uh, they yes yes they are dickhead. Um. Anyways. Once you get this Charter of Exploration, you owe them 10% of all the money that you've made. As well as you have to pay for the Charter, which is 50 gold, which who can actually ever afford that? I can definitely, but uh, not... He looks at you. I don't know about you guys that much. <clears throat> and before you even leave, Chult, you need that. If you are caught uh, with your pants down, and the Flaming Fists come upon you in the forest, they've known to kill people. Oh. And um, follow-up question: Why do we need guide? If you go into Chult, you will probably die. There are undead, dinosaurs, and everything in between. I've even seen a dragon or two. Uh, if you in, don't have a guide, you may get lost in. 
in between. Yeah, but... Small creatures to large creatures. Everything oh, I... in between exists in this. I understand. And it... And if you don't have a guide, you may run into getting mad monkey fever. You may have to deal with those fearsome drop bears. Or eat mm. berries that will kill you. Guides help with all of that. No, and I, the two I guides just... that I know... Not to pose, just questions. Ah, oh, fair enough, fair yes. enough. Well, but yes, I'm sold. If you're with... I'm in. Oh. How much are these guides? <laughs> A guide before would be 150 gold pieces. And you do have to pay it up front. And uh, you're paying this? Yeah, if we do uh, job for super secret spy men, we, um, we get guide free and charter. You, you get guide freed and charter. Good deal, I think. Yeah, you guys seem Sounds like good. the kind that can definitely help me. I don't want to speak for a group, but uh, I'm in. How about you two new friends? Yeah. Not dying is always good. Yes, getting a guide will... Sound. Getting a guide will save you from not dying. At least the two that I know. It save from not dying? You'll I be safe. like death, but not my own. Well, if you if you do want to do it, I'm going to be in this room. I'm going to kick you all out because I still need to contact some people. Uh, come back tonight, and we can start, or we can leave early in the morning. Your choice. Um, Sooner the better. Why not now? Well, if you'd Unless, like to go, we. You know, it, I don't know. I don't want to speak for a group, but um, city loud. And uh, ears hurt. About what time is it? Inside this helmet. It's it's about twelve a.m. It's 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 not twelve a.m. It is not. Well, whoa, whoa, we're <laughs> rapidly flashing through the time zone. Whoa! Wow! Oh, suddenly it's noon. <laughs> it, it is one. <laughs> wow! The sun. Wait, it, wait, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we were still on Baldur's Gate time. I understand. It's now 100%. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Jet lag. We do adjust our sundials. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Where, I guess, portal lag? Circle of teleportation lag? You definitely have Our uh, internal clocks were way off. Yeah, Completely. yeah that, that yeah, reminds yeah. me. What, was, it a, was it a teleport or a circle? What, what, how did we get Oh, here? it was she a teleport. Said, he said he drew a circle, okay. but yeah, okay. No, no. It, no, you guys made a circle. <laughs> you have to oh. hold hands. I understand. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then ashes, ashes, we all fell down. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you basically all fell down. And... Before we go up. on any, any missions, I need to find a quiet space to sit down for a moment. Somewhere safe and secure. Uh, he pushed you guys all out, so you're in the hall. Yeah. Um, can I do a retroactive perception check, or maybe just a history check, to see if I noticed any sigils? Or uh, identifying markers on Roka at all? Sure. Uh, give me a. It's a perception check. We'll say in the moment you did a perception check. All right. Not bad. Natural seventeen for a twenty. Natural seventeen for a twenty. You did see me an emblem uh, that I would say your master has talked to you about. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'm assuming Zentarum. You got it. All right. Well, if we're all standing outside in the uh, hallway, is um, spy. Good kind, bad kind, eh, we'll find out, but, um... I am. Stab us in the back kind, or...? Oh, maybe. I mean, you can never really tell until it happened. Hmm. Well, there's four of us, only one of them, so... We should be fine, right? Eh, uh, sometimes. Well, you will be three. Three before. I think we can take it. Maybe. Um, yeah. Do I? He told us who. You told us who they are, or who he was, or what that symbol was. Uh, just that he's a spy. Yep. That's all. He's a spy. Do I have any information on him? 
You could make a perception check when you were in the room. We could do a retroactive perception check real quick. He was a little bit more lax when he got to the room than he was walking around. A lot of perception. I feel like I should have kept my wisdom. Uh, no. Definitely cloak and dagger kind of feel, but that's it. <clears throat> I mean, if you, out of character meta, like, if you ask my character, not standing directly outside the dude's door, I will tell you about it. <laughs> but I'm not going to expose his entire shadowy organization literally standing outside of his door. That seems like an incredibly stupid thing to do. So. Well, I was doing that because of thieves can't and whatnot, just to see. Gotcha, gotcha. He seemed kind of roguish as well, so maybe I noticed something. Fair. So, oh. are we doing things tonight, or what are we doing? Well, you said this place was too loud, and I need a place that is quiet to stay for a little while. No, Where would you like to go to find a place city to stay? In, city in general, very loud. I live oh. um, outside of city with master and small community. Yeah. Population 14. 15. One of them gave birth. A very small group. Not very do you small want... Do we check out the other inn? Or do we rent a room here? Um, oh, I think we're leaving tomorrow, right? Sure. So we sleeping outside tonight? I didn't I mean, There's plan. a nice bush right there. I didn't plan on buying room, but I have money, could pay for room. At the quiet tavern. If um, sure. you guys we head on over here, together. I'd sleep in alleyway. The trick is what you have to do uh, telling you trade secrets of master rogues. You take dirt and feces and you just mush all over and then you take garbage and cover stay warm all night nobody fuck with you they don't want nasty or we rent room alright should we go to the other end then <laughs> or no one's making choices you're, you get you to have to choices. make the choices. Yep, the three of us have played this before. <laughs> or oh, DM'd shit. It. Then I'm just going to... Yeah. yeah. All right. We might pitch you ideas, uh, either to throw you off or because we genuinely want to do it, but you have to make the <laughs> decisions because we've all been here, done that. I was watching, you know, asking for your characters, not for you to, you know, oh, play the whatever. Enough. In that case, fair enough. My character woke up like three days ago, so yeah, he has no idea. <laughs> Doesn't really care. <laughs> Brian's still figuring out whose character is. Yeah. Well, at this point, I'm just gonna sled a hand stealth and leave you guys behind and do some exploring on my own or something. <laughs> you can if you want. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, the town is big. I the slip town my is very iPhone big. and my my spare iPhone into his pocket, and then just open up the Find My iPhone app and just watch him. <laughs> on the GPS. Find my rogue app. <laughs> yeah, find my rogue, rogue app. app. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking AirPod him. <laughs> Put it in his boot. Oh, All right. Shit. So what do you want to do? There... I just yep. need to find a quiet space. Can you guys help me find a quiet space, or maybe we should rent an in room? There is the. Oh, we should leave town. Yeah, the sounds pretty quiet. Let's, let's head to that repose place. That's what I want to do next. I'm sure they have a stall or something there. See how I feel about this place. All right. Um, as you guys are running out of the, or getting out of the tavern, you do see another drunkard get thrown out. Um, one of the ones that actually pointed at themselves when uh, Jay was kind of, or when uh, Corn, Kern, uh, Colonel. Kern. There we go. Uh, when Kern kind of whistled. You are so uh, awful with names. Like, I'm so I, it, Originally, it was Kernian, and then I was like, no, Jason's going to fuck this up. So I just <laughs> made it Kern, and you still fuck it up. Names are bad. Names are bad. Um, <laughs> so as you guys are walking out, you see the um, House of Repose basically on the other side of the street. Significantly quieter on that side. Um, as you enter, uh, there are two guards that are kind of holding, and they'll say... They kind of sniff you and they say, Temple of Saloon, of Sune, before coming in. I'm going to be doing something else while you guys are doing that real quick. 
but we'll get. I'm gonna see the two guards and hear them say Temple of Salune, and I'm just Sune. going Sune. to Sune? Sune. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. Do I know what that is? Can I do a whatever? Uh, a religion or a history check? I feel uh, like that's common. It's, yeah, I'd say that's pretty common. Okay, it's, okay. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know that the Temple of Sune is a, is a god who kind of her domain is basically beauty, love, cleanliness. If you really want to go that way, <laughs> and uh, they kind of point to you like they they get a map. They have a map in front of them. They kind of point where you need to go first to clean yourself up. All right, yeah, no, all right. I'm gonna walk back to the other room and other end and rent a room. Uh, it is a nice hot spring. Uh, I'm going to continue to ignore them and walk away. Fair enough. So meanwhile, I've been helping up that drunk that got tossed out. And mm -hmm. uh, I help, you know, dust him off and clean him off. And then I hand him a pitten and I start walking to the hot spring. All right. Sounds good. Uh, you see uh, Kareen Rini walking up to... I'm just going to keep walking. Up <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Keep doing it. You're good. Uh, as he's kind of walking away. Uh, Din and Jar. Jar. Yeah, you guys, your names are fucked. So just know that. <laughs> <laughs> see what I mean, boys? He's just awful. <laughs> Notice my name. <laughs> it's very simple. <laughs> it's easy. Jer, Jer's easy too. Amboni's easy. It's just Kern or Nahal. It's literally just <laughs> Kern. <laughs> it's three and four letters. <laughs> it's, it's Kern. <laughs> and Jer. Like, oh, yeah. Kern? How do you spell that? <laughs> <laughs> it was literally K U R N I A N before. Oh, then I was that like, would have been no. fucked up 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Considering the first reaction to Kern was Kieran, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> it, it happens. Uh, Jaren <laughs> Din, what's happening while Boney's kind of doing Boney things? Uh, I'm following good? Boney around. Oh, okay. I'm, uh, looking around the marketplace for a nice bush to sleep in tonight. Okay. <laughs> Din, what are you doing? <laughs> Since I know what uh, uh, Kern is doing. I would probably head off to the, the baths and get cleaned up. Yeah. Mm okay. Uh, I will say this, Jer, you you find actually a nice bush that's kind of away from everyone. If you wanted to sleep there, you think you'd get some uh, pretty shitty but decent sleep. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to carve a nice big X in the dirt right there. Mark it as mine. Okay. Uh, Boney, as you're kind of walking back from the House of Repose, you see Jer kind of marking the X in the dirt, and you see both of your party members kind of moving off over over here. And by over here, I mean to the this west. direction. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to roll my eyes and shudder at the thought of getting clean and go by my room. Fair enough. Uh, do you take Jared? or do you just walk right by him? I'm going to compliment him on his nice choice of bush. And well, thank you. see if he'd like to follow because I need some help. Uh, sure, I can fluff up the dirt later. Let's go. All right. Uh, do we want to do the hot... Uh, let's actually take a break, and then we can decide. Do we want to do the hot springs first, or do we want to do the, um... The hotel. In. Good good. We're going to go on break right now, and we'll be back. Right. <laughs> okay, sounds great. See you in a minute, stream. Or a bit. Like five. Ish, ten ish. I don't know. I'm out of time.